immunogenicity of AMPA and AMP antigens from rickettsia rickettsii on mononuclear cells from rickettsia positive Mexican patients. Vidzal Rosado Carlovia Journal of Vector Borne Diseases, 2017 54 4. Vidzal Rosado Carla, Bilam Romero Javier, Valencio Pacheco Guillermo, Lugo Caballero Cesar, Arias Leon Juanjos A, Penich Lara Gaspar, Zavala Castro Jorge. Journal of Vector Borne Diseases 2017 54 4, 317 327. Background and Objectives, The Nature of the Rickettsia Lantigens and the Immune Response Generated by Them, have been the subject of exhaustive research so that a suitable vaccine can be developed. Till date evaluations of Rickettsia Rickettsia I antigens that induce both humoral and cellular responses in animal models have only shown partial protection and short-term immunological memory. This study was aimed to evaluate the immune response induced by DNA plasmids generated from the AMPA and AMP genes of R. rickettsii in peripheral blood mononuclear cells of rickettsial, sensitized, patients compared to healthy subjects. Methods, plasmids AMPA 49, AMP 15 and AMP 24 were generated in the VAX vector. Macrophages derived from the THP1 cell line were transfected in vitro with the plasmids and were co-cultured with T lymphocytes from sensitized subjects and healthy subjects to evaluate cell proliferation and cytokine production. Results, the OMP24 plasmid induced proliferative response in human lymphocytes, with production of IL-2, IF and gamma, IL-12P70, IL-6 and TNF-alpha likely due to the presence of conserved epidopes among R. rickettsii, R. tiffy and R. felis, differing from 1 to 3 amino acids, during the construction of the plasmids. Interpretation and Conclusion DNA sequences of rickettsial epidopes can be cloned into the VAX vector. Constructed plasmids can generate a proliferative response and produce cytokines in vitro in co-culture of transfected macrophages with sensitized human lymphocytes. Plasmid OMP24 proved to be the most immunogenic with respect to plasmids OMP49 and OMP15.